Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, apologies for no video for the last couple of days. I've been really, really poorly. Um, I had a meeting in town on Friday and I was all dressed up for it. I had a shirt on a tie on and stuff and I was on the bus on the way there. And I realised I was really hot and like sweating and stuff. Um, I, I wasn't feeling great. Anyway, I went into the meeting and it just got worse and worse and worse. I was sitting there sweating, looking like some kind of bloody drug addict or something. I had to excuse myself and go to the bathroom and I just upchucked everything. It was disgusting. I had to go back in, tell them, look, I'm sorry, I'm really poorly. My tummy, I've got a bug or something. They're really nice about it, but it's super embarrassing. Um, got out into town and it was a nightmare. I felt too sick to jump in a taxi. I thought I'd just be sick in a taxi. And as I was trying to think what to do, I was starting to feel like I was going to happen again. So I had to go into McDonald's and that was like massive, massive mistake. There's so few public toilets nowadays, but McDonald's is just the worst. When you feel sick and you've got these horrible kind of thoughts and images going through your mind and the smells are putting you off, there's nothing worse than a McDonald's toilet, but full of fast food farts. Oh, it was horrible. And I'm so paranoid when I'm being sick as well. Like, I don't want people to hear me, so I'm trying to flush the toilet to go inside with my wretches and stuff, and it's, oh, it was horrible. Um, anyway, I got onto a bus in the end because I thought my like, taxi is just going to be a nightmare. I'll be sick in it. Um, I had to jump off the ta off the bus on the way home um, outside Morrison's and ran in there. And that, oh God, that was probably like, the lo the worst part of it all, right? In Morrison's, I think, well, my one anyway, they seem to have some kind of outreach program. They have people who are a little bit special work in there, which is great. You know what I mean? You know, getting them involved and stuff. Nothing against it. And there's one guy who works in my local one and he's lovely he's a bit shouty uh, but he's a really nice guy he looks a bit like that guy off the goonies hey you guys if you any of you have seen that anyway he as i went into the toilet he was coming out and he saw me going into the cubicle and he was like hey it's, it's gonna stink i'm afraid in his funny little voice and as i was going in there it just hit me he had, obviously had a massive massive turd and as soon as i smelt it I barely had time to shut the door behind me. I just puked everywhere. Everything that was left came out. It was horrible. Oh, makes me feel sick now. That was, and it had gone on the floor and stuff. And I had to get down those with toilet paper and clear it up and stuff with the smell there and a disgusting, dirty toilet bowl. Oh, it was horrible. I had to walk home from there in the end, stopping to dry heave every so often. And I went to bed um, and I woke up on Saturday. I just felt just like I was so thirsty, dehydrated because I've been ill and well, my chest and tummy was aching from all the vomiting. It was horrible. Um, but it kind of took my mind off what's been going on because it has been two weeks now for my ex-girlfriend and actually the distraction has been good and I feel a little bit, um, it's, it's time to start picking up the pieces now, I think. It's been a couple of weeks, like I said, I was going to give it. Um, and I'm feeling quite positive, to be honest with you. I'm feeling like it's, you know, a time... Women are really complicate your life and I'm seeing how much my life was complicated, how tame I've become and stuff. It's time to rejoin and just kind of rejoin the pack, run with the wolves again, I think. Um, yeah, and that means I need to get my music video filmed. I hadn't done that because I hadn't felt like dancing or anything, but I'm going to really, really am going to get that done this week. Finally get my sending to Afghan Dan, my bloody, what's it called? I've forgotten the name of it now, it's been so long. Um, I'm not a Tic Tac. That's not my name. That's not my name. The parody from the Ting Tings. It's going to be really, really awesome. I'm going to drop it like it's hot this week. Uh, yeah. And I've learned to edit a little bit as well. I've been doing videos on my commentary channel very sporadically so far. But I'm about to step it up and get on with the commentating and stuff. So if you haven't subscribed to me over there, do pop on over. I'll put a little little link in the description if I remember. Anyway, oh, the rest of your weekend is lovely. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening as always.